computer. Good day, everyone. So last topic, we have discussed the different specifications of computer from according to purpose, according to the type of data handled, and according to its capacity. So let's have now our next topic about the computer system. So in this topic, we will define the computer system. We will understand also the components of computer system. We will know the different components of computer system. And we will also understand and we will define also the meaning of software. So let's start. So what is a computer system? A computer system is a group of interrelated parts with each part having its own function and together they perform a single task. The objective of a computer system is to produce a timely and accurate information. This is an example of a computer system. So basically, we have two types of computer system. We have the hardware and software. So let's have first the definition of hardware. Hardware are the physical components that make up a computer system. So hardware are the tangible parts of the system. So we have five elements of hardware. The central processing unit, the input devices, the set storage devices, the output devices, and the communication devices. Let's have first the central processing unit. CPU performs all the processing of data. It is the computer's processing control and storage circuitry. It is an integrated circuit chip containing the electronic circuitry that controls the interpretation and execution of instructions. It has the ability to fetch, decode, and execute instructions and to transfer information to and from other resources over the computer's main data transfer path, the bus. It is known as the brain of the computer. So after central processing unit, let's have now the different input devices. Input devices are the pre pro instruments that generate notes for the computer and allows the user to enter information into the computer to be processed. These devices allow the user to provide the computer with commands and instructions, programs, and pieces of information. They are the pathways through which information enters a computer's unit system. Let's have the first one. The keyboard. Keyboard is used to type the programs and input data into the memory of the computer. The next one, mouse. Mouse is used to control the pointer in the screen. Next one, we have also the joystick. Joystick is mostly used in games and those used to move an indicator on the screen. Next one, we have the scanner. A device for converting graphic images into digital pulses that can be processed and stored by the computer. It converts your soft copy, it converts your hard copy to soft copy. So that's the basic input devices. Again, input devices are the pre pro instruments that generate notes for the computer and allow the users to enter information into the computer to be processed. Next one, we have also the different basic output devices. Output devices are any pre pro devices that present, display, alter, or record output after it has left a computer's unit system. When computer completes a computation, the resulting data is sent out to an input device. So let's have first the monitor. Monitor is a television-like device and used to display computer-generated information. The next one is the speaker. It is a device that converts analog audio signals into the equivalent air vibration in order to make audible sound. Next one, we have also the printer. Printer is commonly used to print text, drawings, and pictures. Unlike scanner, printer converts your soft copy to a hard cap. So that's the different basic output devices. Again, output devices, these are the peripheral instruments that present display, alter, or record output after it has left a computer's unit system. So let's proceed with the different storage devices. So storage devices, it holds raw and process data for record keeping and for further processing. Let's have the first one, the flash drive. Flash drive is typically small, lightweight, removable, and rewritable. 
Next one is the hard disk. Hard disks use several non-flexible disks with recording heads and can store more information. Next one is the compact disk. Compact disk is, a, is an optical storage medium with digital data recorded on it. Next one is the floppy disk. Floppy disk is a portable computer storage device that permits easy handling of data and consists of flat circular plates made of metal or plastic and coated with iron oxide. So again, that's the different storage device. And let's define again the meaning of hardware. Hardware are the physical components that make up a computer system. So let's proceed now with the software. Software refers to all computer programs which direct and control the computer hardware in data processing. A computer program is a set of logical instructions that cause the computer to operate. So like hardware, we have also types of software. We have the system software and the application software. So let's define first the meaning of system software. System software is a collection of programs which facilitates the programming and operation of the computer. They are the integral part of the computer system itself. Specifically, it supervises the operation of the central processing unit. It controls the input or output functions of the computer system. And it also translates programming languages and provides other support device. An example of a system software is the operating system software. So operating system manages the computer's internal functions and provides a means that control the computer's operation. It is a master control program, permanently stored in memory that interprets user commands requesting various kinds of services. Example of the system software is the MS-DOS, Linux, and the Microsoft Windows. So that's the example of system software. So next, we have the application software. It is a program written to solve specific problems. Application software may be written by programmers or may be leased from computer vendors, software companies, or other computer users. Several other types of software that facilitates computer use are available. So we have the different types or examples of application software. Examples are the word processor, spreadsheet, database management program, and presentation. So again, software is referred to all computer programs which direct and control the computer hardware in data processing. So that's the computer system. So I hope you have learned something today from our today's discussion. And if you have learned something today, comment that in our comment section. And don't forget to give this video a like and see you on our next topic. Goodbye and God bless.